Good afternoon, friends. It's great to be with you on Doing Life with Pastor Donovan and Chantal. Welcome to our weekly series. Pastor Chantal is not with us today. As you can see, I'm alone. So I'm going to do my best to bring you a word of encouragement because I know that um, each and every one of us need encouragement every single day. I want to speak to you today about when you mess up. It is okay when you mess up. You know, when you make mistakes and when you, when you do things that you're not supposed to do, even as a Christian, when we mess up, it is okay. And I want to show you from the Word of God why I make that statement. You know, the Bible says in the book of Lamentation, which Jeremiah writes, Lamentation chapter 3, and I just want to read the scripture to you. It says, The faithful love of the Lord never ends. His mercies never cease. Great is His faithfulness. His mercies begin anew every morning. Every morning God's mercies are new. He is a faithful God. And so in the book of Hebrews also, it tells us that we do not serve a high priest. This is Hebrews 4. It says we do not serve a high priest that does not understand when we go through difficulties. He does understand that we go through times where we are challenged and you know, friend, as we go through life, there are many challenges and many difficulties, many temptations and trials that comes our way. But you know, God understands our weaknesses. Here is what the key is to receiving mercy. Jesus preaches a message on the Sermon of the Mount. You'll find this in Matthew chapter 5, where he says, if you want mercy, if you want mercy, then you need to give mercy. Be merciful in order to receive mercy. And I love that portion of scripture because it means the way I treat other people, if I'm merciful towards other people and forgiving towards other people, God then is forgiving towards me. You know, you cannot walk around and be self-righteous and, and be hard on people and merciless and expect the Lord to have mercy upon you when you make mistakes. And I can tell you this, that each and every one of us makes mistakes. We go through times of, of trials and weaknesses, and sometimes we let our guards down. And you know, the Lord is faithful. You know, the psalmist says, and this is a psalm that David wrote, he says, surely goodness and mercy will follow me. You know, when I speak about David, I often think about David and the time when he was anointed as king and how he committed adultery with Bathsheba and also then had her husband um, Uriah murdered because he wanted Bathsheba for himself. And you know, this was after he received the anointing of a king. This is after God had called him to be the next king of Israel. And David goes and David messes up and you know what? God forgives him. David is sorrowful about and repents about the mistakes that he made. He repents about the, the fornication and the adultery that he committed. And really, if you look at David's life, David goes on to, to do great things for the Lord because he was sincere in his repentance and God showed him mercy. But we also find David showed mercy to others. There was one time when Saul was still king and Saul was pursuing David to kill him. There was a time when David found Saul in a cave and together with his men, David stood over a sleeping Saul. And one of the men wanted to kill Saul and David said, no, you will not touch God's anointed. David could very easily have taken revenge on Saul. He could have easily taken his life, but yet David recognized that he needed to show mercy. And it's because of David's nature that he was merciful towards others that God showed him mercy later on in his life. So when you and I mess up, when we make mistakes, you know, we need to go to God, we need to repent, we need to ask God to forgive us, and then we need to forgive ourselves and move on. And we need to know that God's faithfulness and His mercy never ends. You say, Pastor, what happens if I make the same mistake more than once, if I mess up and I know I shouldn't have done it? Is God still merciful? Well, the Bible gives us the answer to that question. One of the disciples asked Jesus exactly that. How many times should I forgive 
my brothers or sisters seven times? He says. And Jesus replied. He said, no, not seven times, but 70 times seven. In other words, you need your forgiveness and your mercy towards your brothers and sisters should be endless. You need to forgive them as many times as forgiveness is needed. And that is the nature of God. That is why here in Lamentations it says His mercies are new or it's afresh every morning. So God never grows out of patience with you and with me. We need to take simply our things to God, our sin that we have perhaps committed, and we need to ask God for forgiveness. We need to repent and turn away from that way of life. And we need to ask God to help us then. Lord, that I do not make the same mistakes. Help me to overcome this temptation. Every time when it comes, Lord, I'm going to call on you and you're going to give me the strength. And that is what God's grace is all about. God's grace and His mercy is all about giving you the opportunity, the chance to rectify and make right and to live right with God. You know, sometimes when we make mistakes, we mess up, we cannot take it back. We've done it, it's, it's done and dusted. But what we can do is we can go to God and say, Lord, give me the strength. Give me the ability to overcome this. The next time when I'm faced with this temptation, help me to overcome it. And this is what I can almost guarantee you, is that Satan will tempt you with the same temptations that you have felt and fell for before. I can tell you this, that Satan is relentless in his pursuit to see you fail, to see your relationship with God diminish, to see you start doubting yourself, doubting your relationship with God, doubting your trust, doubting your salvation. And if Satan can get you to doubt who God is and his mercy that he has for you, that will go a long way in him destroying your life. So, you know, friend, as I'm sitting here today, I want to encourage you that never give up on yourself because God never gives up on you. Like David, you know, live a life that shows mercy and forgiveness towards others. Be quick to forgive others. Be quick to let go of past hurts. And God will show you mercy when you need it. And the book of Romans, it says we all have sinned. There is not one person that's walking this earth that can claim that they are walking a perfect walk with God. They never do anything wrong. Because we all have sinned. The Bible in fact says, if you have broken one of the commandments, one of the laws of God, you are guilty of breaking it all. And the thing about mercy is that mercy does not exist. It is not needed without judgment. You, there has to be judgment first before mercy can kick in. If you think about it, if you go to a court of law, and let's say, for example, you have done something, you've broken the law, and you are found guilty, what you would do is you would give yourself to the mercy of the court. You would go and say, you know, Your Honor, I've done this, I am wrong, and I've been found guilty of this, but um, I'm going to ask that you be merciful. Look at my track record. I have been, I've been an upstanding citizen. It's my first offense. I've never done anything wrong. I try to keep the law. And you throw yourself at the mercy of the court. But that only happens once you have been found guilty. If you've been found innocent of the crime, you do not have to ask for mercy because you are innocent. And each and every one of us, we have been found guilty short of the standards of God. We have broken the law of God and perhaps not once, not twice, but more than that. And each time we can go to God and we can throw ourselves at the mercy of God. And I am so encouraged when the word of God said, His faithfulness never ends. His mercy endures forever. Surely, goodness and mercy will follow you every day of your life. So my message and encouragement to you today on this Wednesday morning is to accept God's mercy, to walk in God's mercy, and to know that God will never give up on you. He loves you. 
He loves each and every one of us. And God, Jesus, has died for our sins, our future, our past, and our present sin. What we need to do is to take it to God and repent with heartfelt repentance, turn away from our wicked ways. God loves you, friend. I trust that this encouraged you. I trust that this short message helped you and given, has given you the strength to get through today. Thank you for tuning in to Doing Life with Pastor Donovan and Chantal. And as Pastor Chantal always says, from our home to your home, God loves you and have a great day.